How's it going guys and gals? Welcome to Formula One Manager 2022 and in this brief video today I'm going to just show you very quickly how to get a good setup for your drivers in this game so that your drivers are more reliable, they get faster lap times and of course they are happier and you get a better performance bonus. So the first thing you need to do is in practice one we are going to choose the soft compound tires okay. It doesn't really matter what compound tires you choose but I tend to use the softs and you're going to make sure that your run plan is correct. We need to do about 15 laps. This should give them enough time to go out and get accustomed to the car and give you an idea of what they think about the car, but also you're not carrying that extra fuel, therefore uh, burning the tires more than you need to so they will last longer so you can use them again. That's the idea behind that. We're also in driver options, going to make sure that the pace mode is set to conserve. Fuel usage is also set to conserve. Okay, so in the middle we have these bars, all right, and they are the rough range that your driver wants the car to sit in in order to be happy however if it is at one end of the range they will be incredibly happy but the other end they might hate the setup it might be bad and we're going to use this to our advantage when we are setting up the car so what you want to do is make sure that these white bars are at one end of all of those blue bars so for example we can uh have a little bit less on the front wing there, and that takes this top oversteer bar all the way to the left. That's reasonable, I think, if we perhaps have a little bit more on the front wing angle. As you well know, this involves a lot of tweaking, but what you can see here in the center is roughly what you want to go for. All of my white bars, so the current setup, are sat either to the far left or the far right of the blue bars. At that point, we're going to send our driver out. We're going to manage a practice one manually because we want to do the setup ourselves. It's always better doing it yourself than it is letting Radio the check. AI do it. And then we're going to send our driver out yep. as is. is good, tricks, good. Okay, as soon as he's back in the garage, we're going to go back to the reconfigure tab and we're going to have a look at see what he liked and what he didn't like. Now, he didn't like absolutely everything. So we need to go to the other side on all of them. All right, so that setup now is basically the complete opposite of what we just gave him, more or less, apart from cornering, which I should tweak better, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to bother this is demonstration purposes. Let's confirm that, and when they have reconfigured the car, we'll send him straight back out again and see what he thinks this time. Uh, it's pretty even. There we go. Lando's come That's back good, with his feedback on this new setup as pretty good. So we're going to call him in once again to see what was good and what we can improve on. So as you can see, we still didn't get a few parts of the setup right. However, he's now got a 59% confidence in the setup itself. Now, the oversteer is still bad, but we're at this end. So we're going to push it back to the other end. Basically, if something is good, it means you're in the right area. Don't stray too far from that setup. If it is bad, go opposite. And if it's optimal, obviously you want to leave it in that exact spot. If it's great, it's going to be a very small tweak. So this is the revised setup that we're about to send them out on. However, you'll notice that we can't confirm this anymore. This is because we can't do 15 laps on our current set of tires. We're going to switch to another set of softs. So it's important to remember that the acclimatization they do in P1 does carry over. So we don't have to start again with whether Norris likes this setup or not. He's going to start halfway through it. And we're about to find out what he thinks. I'm happy. So you can see there we have good on the oversteer, optimal, great, good, and great. So as I said, optimal means leave it there. You want to keep that pin in the exact spot on that range. Oversteer, by the looks of things, we can move slightly. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try and tweak this ever so slightly from this current setup to see if we can get that 88% any higher. All right, so Lando's come back and said it's a super cool car to drive. All right, he didn't say super. I'm adding that on, but that's, you know, just because. And here we go. Highest confidence setup, 97%. Thank you very much to Q for the advice and the tips during the live streams. Been a big help. Hopefully, this video has helped you out. If it has, please consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribing for more. You can come and hang out with me on our live streams. We've been playing Aston Martin at the moment at the time of recording this video. And, of course, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. There's still, There's still room, room to tweak, tweak this. this. There's, There's still, still room, room to tweak, tweak here. here.